Okay, so I have managed to get a park. I entered the car park and I couldn't believe how many cars and people there are here. Um, obviously a lot of interest in car boot sales and this is a vintage car boot sale. So um, I was driving through and a lady flagged me down and I was very lucky. Um, I've managed to get a car park quite close to the action. So I can see people walking around and they've got bags. Um, I'm pretty sure I've got some bags in my boot. So I'm going to head in there now and take a look. Hopefully I'll get some footage. Um, but I'm going to check out my first vintage car boot sale and I am excited. All right, see you soon. <laughs> How's it been today? Yeah, good. Oh, good. We're only an hour in. Okay, yeah. I'm only like this is my first vintage car oh, boot sale, what? but you've got lovely stuff. Oh, thank you. So you're um, at Vintage Lily Shop. Vintage Lily Store. Oh, Vintage Lily Store. Okay, on Instagram. So I will tag you in. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>
so I'm back now in the car. That was a lot of fun and um, I think I've caught the sun a little bit but um, I'm going to head home now and um, I have to say I couldn't get a photo of some of the lovely vintage cars that have turned up for this event. But anyway, I'm going to head home now and I will do a flip through of some of my little buys. See you soon. Okay, I am back home now and settled and I've got my cup of coffee here, finally. <laughs> and I thought I would actually even take a chance of going through and having a look at my buys that I got. So, here we go. Alright, so I got these and I... Um, their cards of some sort so uh, Merry Christmas it actually looks like they've been decoupaged um, so these ones here she wanted she wanted three she wanted twelve dollars for the three and I sort of ummed and hard um, even though you know they are well some of them are double-sided and I ummed and hard a little bit and then she said I could have that for twelve dollars so that's that one there and on the back side there look at that oh, try and get that straight for you <laughs> there we go that's on the back and I got that which I really liked that and see it's got this really lovely it's very delicate so I won't touch it too much but I guess that's like some sort of lace edging paper lace edging and then on the back I got this lovely um, so these must be cards because it says Prosperous New Year and they've been backed or mounted on a card. So I got that. These are just some vintage stickers that have been decoupaged and matted again. That's that there. Now I've got this one here with these cute little kittens there. And on the back there is another. It's almost like a negative. So that's quite cute. And then I found some a big bag of um, photographs and postcards and I asked the lady, I said, oh, excuse me, how much are these, please? And she said, oh, well, gosh, I don't know. She said, they're my mum's. She said, look, 20 cents each. <laughs> so I went through them. They weren't very vintage. Um, a lot of them were quite modern, but these, I think, were the pick of the bunch that certainly appealed to me anyway. So this one here is West Australian, but... Yeah, that's a cute gypsy one. I thought that would be good for some golden books that I've got. Um, I love the old trams. Uh, this is Great Orm Railway, Len Dudno. I don't know where that is. Um, but yeah, I love the old postcard on the back there. I thought this would be neat. Maybe in a kitchen journal or just in a nice nice vintage journal and again 1955 there's a dating stamp on that one I like this one too this was a um I thought it was a photograph in fact I think this was on the top of the pile but it's a postcard and London somewhere in London anyway there you go like that one I got this one because it's the good old Sydney Harbour Bridge and I do like vintage Australian stuff so I grabbed that one and this one here I just thought it was really pretty with the floral can't go past some pretty carnations and there's the back um, see if I can find a date on that one can't see a date on that one um, oh hold on 14 no that can't be right Maybe it's 2004. Okay, and then I got this um, velvet soap. Um, I think this is, oh, it's a postcard as well. So, I got that one. And you'll see that I went through the Semco transfers and I spent quite a bit of time and I think I picked out the best of what was there. There was a lot of duplicates there, but yeah, there's some... Um, a spoon and a fork, a teacup, three for you. Um, one says tea time. I think these are meant to be transfers that you can then stitch over. 
and it's meant to be um, for this one glass. Oh, so this is glass towel. A lady, she probably looks like a bit of a even a gypsy, I guess, with a bunch of fruit. There's another. And it'll be a Dutch couple, so there's that one there. And I thought these looked quite pretty. I'm not quite sure, but I love the paper, it's like tracing paper. So, just a bunch of pretty little flowers, sprays of flowers, and that patterns. I can see that in a you know the um, envelope windows and maybe um, make a tag or this one here lingerie transfers never seen these before but yeah there's a lot of stuff I have these to me I guess oh that's pretty I like the delicate like the way they I've been drawing roses actually and um so I sort of getting used to the shape of them. Okay and oh nice butterflies and some flowers there. It's just seeing if there's a uh, date on the back there but no there's no date but that, that looks to me like I'd say forties or fifties. And then I found these um and the lady was telling me that she just kind of saw them and she thought oh I'll just take them along um, I was thinking I might use these as part of a decoupage for um, my little golden books. Um, they look like, yeah, lots of children's images and fun and colourful. So there's some on the back there as well. Very fairy tale oriented. And these ones here, little children again, bright and colourful. Oh, there's Goof, Goofy and Donald Duck. So I was pretty happy with that. These were $2 each for all of these. Teddy bear. Oh, lots of teddy bears. Andy for my um, teddy bear journal. And then these ones here. I thought they were again nice and colourful. I just ended up taking them a lot. $2 each. And you got all of these. I just think can't go wrong with that. And then this one here. I only had $2 left. <laughs> And, well, out of my budget, and um, this was in a $2 box. Um, so I asked the lady, because it's got $10 on there, and I said, um, is that right? Is that uh, the correct price? And she said no. She said somebody's um, dropped it in there, but she gave it to me for $5. So um, I haven't even had a proper look at this yet. So I was looking at the cover, and I've got an idea for how I'm going to get this lovely paper off that I can use it. Um, so if it works out, I will definitely film a video on that because I, it is a little bit of a technique that I do. So I actually might take that out of the box. So baby's first diary, but I just loved the pages and I only had a really quick, quick look through this. So, um, but I saw enough to think, yeah, I think that's worth getting for, well, $2, but I ended up paying five, but yeah, I just thought, no, nah, that's plenty in there that I can use so that's that just a quick flip through there just to let you have a look so all in all I think it was worth going um, I'll definitely go again um, I think the key is to take a budget with you um, I don't know if it's just a WA Perf thing but um, certainly the first vintage sale I went to um, they weren't there wasn't a lot of ephemera there. There was um, bits around, um, but they did tend to be on the cheaper side. And I would say that this is cheaper. Well, certainly if you went into a shop, an antique shop or a vintage shop, you would be paying definitely double of what I paid. And even in an op shop, um, I know that postcards are 50 cents and I bought these for 20 cents. So um, it's definitely worth the effort and I'll, I'll definitely go again. Um, these were a bit pricey, but then look at them. They're, I mean, it's not really pricey, I guess, but compared to what I paid for the other stuff, but the lady did know her, her, her she knew the value of her things. 
and um, I think you know they're definitely quality so there we have it um, hope you had fun I uh, hope you enjoyed the video because I had fun making it it was a little bit different a little bit fun and boppy um, give me a thumbs up if you have liked this video and I would love to hear your comments um, of your experiences and your buys um, but yeah take care guys until next time thank you bye